What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of the Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as mental illness across all social media platforms. If this is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice, I'm a diagnosed narcissist. I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims, survivors, and thrivers of said disorder. Um, today's episode is going to be about narc season. What is narc season? Well, first of all, it's October 31st. It's Halloween. So, you know, welcome to narc season. Narc season goes from about October to like January, February, maybe March. Um, it's just the holiday seasons. It's when narcissistic people typically show their true colors, show who they are, what they're going to do, and what, you know, what they stand for and things like that. And typically, this is the time of the year when narcissists get worse. This is the time of the year right here where if you're dealing with a narcissist or toxic person, their true colors will start to show. Y'all, sorry, I'm trying to find the right lighting in this living room. Um, their true colors will start to show and they will reveal themselves. Like, first of all, we all know that most, not all, most narcissists do not like, not even most, a lot of narcissists and times people do not like the holiday season. Do not like holidays, birthdays, and things like that already. So, narc season is like holidays back to back to back to back. It's Halloween, then it's uh, Thanksgiving, then it's Christmas, then it's New Year's, then it's New Year's Day, and then it's uh, New Year's Eve, then it's New Year's Day, then it's Valentine's Day. All these holidays and stuff back to back to back to back that's consistently happening right behind each other. And it's a, high, it's a time of highly, a, a time of high emotional energy. And you know, a lot of narcissists and toxic people have low emotional capacity. So we don't we don't have a lot of emotions to go around. And this time of the year just seems so wasteful for emo Yeah, I'm just telling you how I feel. This time of the year is when most narcissists are going to show their true colors. A lot of times, a lot of times people just, you know, oh, around October, November, they got crazy. They start treating me horribly. They became super distant. They started cheating. They're going to try, like, if you're dealing with a narcissist, they're going to try to blow your life up. I promise you during this time right here. They're going to try to make your life harder. They just they just are. Like, narcissists, we already don't like the holidays because it's too much, like, me personally, this is my personal perspective on holidays, it's just too much going on. I just feel, me, and plus, here we go again, because I know a lot of my emotions come from a place of, you know, I guess a place of fakeness sometimes. A lot of my emotions sometimes come from a place of fakeness. So I just feel like the holiday season is the fakest season of the year for me. I just, you know, you get together on Thanksgiving with people you barely see all the years. How about share food, telling you love them and care about them, all this other rap, 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 blah, 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 boo, 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 beep, beep, beep. Yeah, it's just, it's just that time of the year. Christmas is so commercialized. It ain't about Jesus. It's about giving gifts and things like that. I think Christmas is so fake and it's a terrible time. Then New Year's, like New Year, New Me. It's just another day of the year. It's just like, to, to, you know, genu December 31st and January 1st have no difference to me. Yeah, you know, I'm just like it's in a lot of narcissistic people feel that same way. It just got it gets real awkward around this time of the year. Yeah, have I have I gotten better since I've been in therapy? Yeah, I've gotten better over the last, you know what I mean, five years of, you know, working on myself. Casey. What? Is, is, you still in the kitchen? Yeah. Alright, sorry, I might have to make sure to get my son. Okay. Stay in there with a day for a few seconds, okay? I'm coming I'm coming in there. Just sit in there for a second, okay? Sorry, I'm gonna finish this video. Um y'all see this is real life. This is real life. Um, but you get a lot of narcissists and toxic people that feel that way around this time of year, y'all. It just makes, it just, it's build, it builds up. And you, if you're dealing with a narcissist or you think you're dealing with a narcissist, you're watching my channel, you follow me, you know, faithfully and things like that, you understand. You probably feel a weird already right now. You are. And I just tell people, if you're dealing with a narcissist and you don't want to leave, you want to stay with them and things like that, don't dedicate that much time and effort and energy into them because they're going to try to make you feel bad. This is the time of year where they, they take out, like, narcissists tend, tend to take out their emotional frustration on everybody around them. They just do. So if you're dealing with a narcissistic person, just prepare because they're going to take out all the emotional baggage and anger and stuff like that on you right now. So don't focus, don't put a lot of time, effort, and energy and focus into the narcissistic person that you're dealing with. I'm not telling you to go blank and not deal with them. I'm telling you, don't, if, don't expect them to act differently this year, this holiday season. If they have, if they have it in the last eight years, the last ten years, this year is not going to be any different, y'all. They're going to start ruining your day, start ruining your night, make it awkward as hell. Don't want to travel, don't want you to travel. Want y'all to sit in the house and do nothing. 
if your family members come over, they'll be downstairs by themselves doing things like that. You know what I mean? They'll they'll make your life harder in situations like that. They because they don't want to deal with it. They, they no, no cat no. Now I'm a kitten trying to grab my microphone. Um, <laughs> you, you see him, uh, but you see the dynamic though. You do a lot of narcissists and toxic people. You know what I mean? But so narcissists, toxic people, whoever you're dealing with. Like, I'm just telling you, y'all, it, it, they're going to make your life harder. They're going to, like I said, if you do have family and friends coming over, they're going to be downstairs or upstairs or making a scene or being silent, acting like they don't want to be involved in the group. They're going to just try to separate themselves from the group and just get angry at you, get angry as hell at you and things like that. You know what I mean? It's just that time of the year, y'all. It's that time of the year. It's narc season. They, they call it narc season, y'all. A lot of people call it narc season because it's just not one day. It's just not one holiday. It's all of them. Do some narcissists enjoy the holidays and giving gifts and receiving gifts? Yes, this is not this is not apply to every single narcissistic person, but a good majority of them will make this time of year harder for you. They just will, and I know well, why, Lee. Why, why, why? Sometimes it's just because of the emotional energy. Sometimes there have been holiday trauma the narcissist has experienced some type of trauma in their childhood, in their youth that makes them feel this way. They've experienced some type of childhood trauma in their youth that makes them feel horrible about this time of the year and they just can't do anything about it. You know what I mean? They can't do anything about it. You know, it just, it, there's a lot of moving pieces going on at this time of the year, y'all. I'm, just, I'm not telling y'all this, the holiday trauma part, I'm not telling you this part to make you feel bad about the narcissist because I don't, of course, have empathy, but that empathy should not be weaponized against you to make you feel bad about what's going on this holiday season. You know what I mean? So protect yourself. I'm just telling you. You know what I mean? Include them if you have to, but just don't include them and just expect them to be just on their best behavior because they're probably not, y'all. Don't don't set yourself up for failure. Just don't. You have to protect yourself. You have to put up a defensive shield against it. You know what I mean? Because you know, tr if you got to go trick-or-treating tonight, they might not want to go trick-or-treating tonight. They might not want to dress up. As, they might think it's stupid to dress up in, holiday, in Halloween costumes and things like that. You know, they might be on a diet and try to make you feel fat and out of shape for going to get candy, giving candy to your kids and things like that. You know, Thanksgiving, they might just be on a diet and make you feel terrible about going to eat turkey. Don't get too big. You already look. You already put on a little weight this year. Don't eat too much turkey this year. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Hurt your feelings. You see how that works right there? You know what I mean? But that's the dynamic that goes on a lot of time when you're dealing with these narcissistic people, y'all. You know, narc season. It's narc season. Christmas. Oh, Christmas is commercialized. Y'all fake. You, you, if you really want to see somebody care about you around Christmas, Christmas time, don't give them a gift. See how they act. See how they react. I'm just telling y'all, you dealing with a lot of narcissistic toxic people, this is the life you, like, I'm just telling you, it's narc season. You know what I mean? So prepare for it. They're going to make, try, don't, just don't invest a lot of emotional energy and don't just expect them to be on their best behavior this year, y'all. Just don't, like, don't hurt yourself this year, y'all. I'm just telling you. Anyways, y'all, I'm not trying to justify their behavior. I'm just preparing you for it because it's narc season. Anyways, y'all, thank you for tuning into another episode. Happy Halloween. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace. Yeah, I'm glad